hematology the white blood cell count learning objectives the student is supposed to be able to describe the test and the test principle and also be able to perform the test and interpret the results to determine whether there is adequate number of white blood cells in the circulation a white cell count is carried out white blood cell counts are traditionally expressed as the number of cells per cubic millimeter of blood In performing a white blood cell count, a microscope and a hemocytometer apparatus are needed. A hemocytometer apparatus consists of a white blood cell pipette, a red blood cell pipette, a cover slip, plastic tube, and an improved NUBA hemocytometer of depth 0 0.1 mm and area 1 over 400 mm squared. A white blood cell diluting fluid is also required. A plastic tube for pipetting is attached to the white cell pipette and made ready for use. The counting area and the cover slip are both wiped with a clean alcohol swab. The cover slip is placed firmly on the counting chamber. The lancet is then fixed on the lancet holder and made ready for use. The lancet is used to prick the tip of the thumb. and the blood is pipetted with a white blood cell pipette and brought to the 0 0.5 mark. The pipetted blood is then diluted with a white blood cell diluting fluid to the 11 mark. The counting chamber is then filled with the diluted blood. The hemocytometer is mounted on the stage of the microscope and various adjustments are made for suitable viewing. And the objective magnification of four, the counting chamber is brought into focus. Under objective magnification of 10, the white cell counting area is seen prominently with tiny white blood cells. And the objective magnification of 40. The white blood cells are very visible and suitable for counting.
Interpretation of results. White blood cells are counted from four large squares. And the white blood cell counts per millimeter cube of blood is estimated as shown.